What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So for today's video, we're kind of continuing that little syncopated stuff, but this is a nice little syncopated doom bow exercise. It's really gonna kind of mess with your mind, but it's simple. Great kind of introduction to syncopation on congas. You gotta love it. Y'all already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. Welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button just to find out whenever I upload. And also hit that like button, it really does help me out to continue making these videos. And if you're a day one, a day two, a day three, man, if you've been subscribed to this channel, seriously, thank you so much for all the love, all the support all the comments, all the suggestions, just sharing the video. Seriously, it means so much to me, especially seeing how this channel just keeps on growing and growing and growing. It's unbelievable, man. I, I would have never imagined it to be the way it is today. And also to the members that are help supporting this channel. Seriously, thank you so much. Appreciate the classes, man. And we're gonna get, get this ball rolling, man. Get this ball rolling. Pretty excited. You gotta love it. But yeah, let me go into this exercise. So again, this is an exercise. You can use it as a combination, but it's really meant as an introduction to syncopation using certain things that we've learned on this channel, but at the same time, knowing how to come back to a basic doom bow. But yeah, let me show you this exercise. Like I said, kind of some craziness going on right there, but yeah, you gotta love it. Let me show you what I'm doing. So if you notice, you're like, how does he go in, come out? What was, what's going on right there? And again, this is a, an introduction to, to what is syncopation. It's kind of like coming in not at your normal time, you know, your one or your two or your three or four. You're really starting it off on an and or an e or an uh. That's kind of the point of what syncopation is. It's a little bit, you know, there's a lot. It's just it's a big, big topic. But then again, you know, this is a great way to kind of maneuver back and forth using these exercises. So I start this exercise with, again, a very simple tumbao, bass finger slap, finger, bass finger, two opens. And this, like the previous exercise that I showed last week, it has a lot of ghost notes. It has a lot of little fingertip taps. Again, we're gonna use that double ghost note in this exercise, kind of crazy. But after doing those two opens, you're going to immediately start that little syncopation part. After doing those two opens, what you're actually going to do is a ghost note with your dominant hand. So it's two opens, ghost note with your dominant hand. And then you're going to do two little double ghost notes with your non-dominant hand, an open slap with your dominant hand, and an open slap with your non-dominant hand. So it's again, ghost note with your dominant hand, double ghost note with your non-dominant, and then slap, slap. Kinda crazy, but it's gonna sound like this. Very, very similar to that Mano Secreta that we've shown on this channel. But after doing that open slap with your non-dominant hand, you're going to do an open with your dominant hand on the tumba. And then you're going to do another open slap with your non-dominant hand on the conga and then another open on the tumba with your dominant hand. But pay attention how the feel is in between that part right there.
So to put everything together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. Crazy, right those ghost notes add so much more and then those opens with the open slap from the tumba to the conga is just man just it just adds something else but now for the hard part yes the hard part now the reason why I say this is the difficult part is because it's at this point where we start to really play with dynamics and we're gonna start to build from going from ghost notes to an open slap so it kind of builds that it's what gives this exercise tension what gives it a little bit more life but since we're coming from the tumba with our dominant hand to the conga naturally what your non-dominant hand going to do is kind of react and it's not really like a it's it's a, it's a ghost note but it's not really meant to be part of this exercise it's really meant as a form of support to help anticipate the next part. So you are gonna do a ghost note, but it's not really gonna be presentable and oftentimes you may even skip it. But after doing that open, to go to the conga, what you're gonna do is a ghost note with your dominant hand, a ghost note with your non-dominant hand, and it's at this point where you're gonna start kind of going from a ghost note and switching to an open slap with your dominant hand, but it's not gonna be that pronounced as the final two, which is gonna be an open slap with your non-dominant hand, and then an open slap with your dominant hand. So to get that feel, it's gonna sound like this. Crazy. It's hard to explain those things, but yeah, to, to put it all together so you can see how it actually comes to life, it's going to sound like this. Crazy, man. I'm trying to tell you guys. I'm giving away secrets, y'all. For free. For free. This is crazy. This is crazy. But yeah, after doing that, you're going to go right back to doing the tumbao, then going right back to doing the exercise. So to play it all the way through, it's going to sound like this. trying to tell you guys you gotta love it man you gotta love it these exercises really help with discipline with timing with anticipation with dynamic with syncopation it's just crazy it's just crazy y'all it's just crazy but yeah to count it slowly and play it slowly for you guys it's gonna sound like this
But all right, y'all, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take your time on it. There's a lot of juices and clues and Easter eggs right there. A lot of stuff that you can take and make it your own. Do it as a combination if you like. But at the same time, it's really meant to help kind of figure out where you are, especially just taking advantage of a very, very basic matcha, very basic tumbao to help you kind of figure out the timing as well. Like not always go in on the one, you know, just going on the and of four sometimes, you know, it's just, it's a great way to kind of like challenge yourself, but please take your time, put it on the metronome, challenge yourself, try it out. Let me know what you guys think. Please comment down below guys. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. But all right, y'all, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.